James Blunt is James, the wine guy. In this video, I'm going to talk about this beautiful wine, gorgeous wine. It is a Cinso coming from Lodi, so stay tuned. So I need to put more in my wine glass because um, as I like to do is uh, pour this wine and swirl away and uh, really let the aromatics flow through, release, and to just very much enjoy. And uh, that's what it's all about, right? Um, for me, this is a really beautiful wine, gorgeous wine, and a really great uh, bottle here. So what we have is Onesta. So this is Onesta 2011 Vintage, 14.5% ABV from Lodi. Now, Bechtol Vineyard, a very, very historical site here, planted in 1885, so it is Lodi's oldest vineyard site. It is also the planet's uh, oldest uh, planting of Cinso. Uh, that beautiful Rhone variety back panel for your inspection here, you'll see a suggested retail of $29, Onesta, meaning honest, from the Italian to the English. And uh, really, this is proof positive of beautiful wines, glorious wines being produced in Lodi. I think this is a fantastic way of uh, you know thinking about uh, the palate, thinking about what you're seeking. Uh, beautiful uh, coloration on this wine. First of all, Cinso is an alluring uh, Rhone variety that I think is just fantastic in terms of scent, flavor profile, acid structure, and uh, coloration as well. Uh, for me, this is a really beautiful wine in terms of, I think there's that midpoint. I, I, a lot of people definitely enjoy, and I do so myself, which is a heavier bodied wine, but sometimes I'm really seeking a lighter to medium body style wine. This is more on the medium body uh, style uh, side, but for me, it, it really gives that characterization that I think is really meeting that palate requirement. Uh, sometimes I'm really needing that because I want uh, a, a characterization. Think of other wine varieties that are in this category. Uh, Pinot Noir, think of uh, Grenache, think or Garanacha, and also think of Nebbiolo. So these are the wine varieties that I think are just elegant, beautiful, graceful, gorgeous. And of course, it depends on the producer. Of course, they may not all taste graceful and beautiful, uh, but I think many do. Uh, for me, this is a really gorgeous way of thinking of this you know, great provenance coming from Lodi. So Lodi is uh, producing a lot of different wine varieties. That is 100 uh, wine varieties that I'm aware of. And uh, everything from the Iberian to the Italian to all the international varieties from France. And uh, you know, it's doing a handsome job. Great climate to do, uh, doing these beautiful wine grapes as well. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna do the flavor characteristics, scent profile, and uh, the point score. So here we go. So on this, um, when I'm getting a beautiful characterization, and you know what, it doesn't have enough wine in here. And sometimes with this wine glass, the format of this wine glass, it's just really hard to tell, especially looking down the um, optics that I'm seeing just really don't come through all the time. Uh, but hey, that's okay, that's what pouring wine is for. So uh, on this uh, glass here, I'm getting beautiful uh, characterization on the scent profile of uh, black cherry cinnamon, additional notes of violets bay leaf and a hint of lavender and tea. So here we go next with the flavor characterization and the point score. Mm. Beautiful notes on this one include red cherry, blackberry, raspberry, lavender, rose petal, allspice, and thyme. Gorgeous wine to pair with so many different food styles. Uh, Turkish comes to mind. North African, Moroccan cuisine thinking in Mexican food, Italian food, uh, so a very, uh, you know, a big variation of uh, food styles that can go with this, a burger, um, and to enjoy on its own, a fantastic wine. Now I give this wine a 9.4 out of my 10.0 scale. Please think of this as 94 points out of 100 points. Now stay with me on this great wine journey. The 2014 has been a fantastic wine tasting year, and tasting things from this heritage uh, site, Bechtol Vineyard, is a great privilege. And I'm going to put more information on the producer down below so you can contact them if you're interested in this wine and if you can receive wines in your home state. And uh, really a fantastic, beautiful, polished wine for $29 is a really outstanding price point. Stay with me. And you'll find me on many social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you so much for watching and salut.